I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media. We're back with Tim Sheets, Vice President for Corporate Marketing with Falcon Store, to continue our discussion on optimization. Thank you, so good to be here. You know, it, we were talking about you know, optimizing the underlying hardware and some of the capabilities that we have and being more efficient, but one of the things we talked about was also price. You know, one of the key challenges that customers have today is you know, they're paying for things separately a la carte. It gets very, very expensive. As we talked about, we're one platform with one view and one price. With Freestore, everything's included. You brought up a key point there, which is price. I mean, that's some right. people, whether you know, they say they're not leading with price, they're leading with price. Not companies, yeah. but end, end right. users. That, 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 that's true, you know, and we talked about some of these capabilities and the pillars being in hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, literally, to go get, you know, four node clusters and what have you. With Freestore, we're looking to turn kind of the industry upside down. Let's face it, you know, as an industry between hardware and software vendors, it has not been really optimized for the customer, the end user. You might get a great price up front, but over time, you two, three years down the road, it comes time to renew, to upgrade, and you get hit with staggering fees that you may not have planned for. With Freestore, everything is included. You're paying one price, you get everything. All your capabilities, all your data services, any enhancements, any upgrades, 24-7 support, maintenance, they're all included. In fact, what we believe is that you need to start paying for the capacity you're managing, not for each of the individual services. Whatever capacity you pull into Freestore and manage, regardless of what services you use or multiple services, you're only paying for that capacity. When we do that, it begins to break a lot of constraints. What we're going to do is we're going to give you an agreement over a term, say one year, three years, five years, whatever makes sense. Say you start out with 100 terabytes. We're going to have, over that term, a fixed price for you. So you're going to pay a price per terabyte. List price is 35,000 US dollars, right? That gets you up to 100 terabytes. So if that first year you say you start at 100 terabytes, your data grows, your business evolves. At the end of the year, now you're at 150 terabytes. Well, at all times, because we're giving you a single view across your entire environment, you know exactly how much you're managing. And what begins to happen is there's no surprise because you know exactly mm -hmm. how much capacity you have. Well, for the term, you have a fixed price for the term of the contract that you agree with us, so you know exactly what's going to cost you. No more two, three years down the, war, down the road saying, oops, I didn't plan for that, I didn't know it was coming. Right. Every year, you know exactly how much you're managing, you know what your price is, you know what that is, price is going to be charged year over year. If you're a service provider and need to do that quarter over quarter, you can do that. Again, it's giving you that flexibility to be able to grow, move things in, move them out, move off of one array to another array, turn services on or off, Again, you don't have to stop, get a license, go to procurement. It's all right. about giving you the freedom. Tim, thank you for talking to us about optimization and free store as in, uh, some insight into how it's priced. That's really important and it's actually quite compelling. You know, we not only wanted to give, you know, change the paradigm again in creating that abstraction layer and, and driving true unified services across an entire environment, relieving them of those constraints, but we also realized that changing the pricing model We've got to do something as an industry to give the flexibility back to the customers so they can manage their business and their budgets based on their requirements, not what's dictated by a vendor. I agree 100%. Excellent. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. And I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media. Thank you for watching.